Playing Fortnite on GeForce Now and want the absolute smoothest and most responsive gameplay possible, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you the most effective settings to optimize your experience, from boosting your FPS to reducing input lag. Whether you're using the free tier or a premium membership, I'll walk you through every key tweak to help you get the best results. Let's get started. Since I'm using the free version, I don't have access to every feature, but in this video, I'll walk you through all the top settings, including ones only available to Ultimate users. So if you're subscribed to the Ultimate plan, you'll be able to unlock the full potential of everything I mention here. To begin, I suggest disabling network status. Keeping it turned on often adds unnecessary clutter on the screen and can create the illusion of stuttering or input lag. Also, be sure your Epic Games or Fortnite profile is linked directly inside GeForce Now. This step skips repeated logins and saves valuable time, especially helpful if you're on a free or priority tier where queue times are longer. When it comes to selecting a server, leave the option on automatic. GeForce Now typically picks the most optimal server for you based on your network quality and physical location. If you try to choose one manually, it could actually raise your ping and cause more delay in gameplay. Next is streaming quality. What you choose here depends on how fast your internet connection is. If your internet speed falls between 25 and 50 Mbps, 720p is your best option and set your streaming bitrate to around 15 Mbps. This strikes a great balance between quality and consistent play without buffering. With speeds from 50 to 100 Mbps, you can go for 1080p. This allows you to raise the bitrate and frame rate 120 FPS is a good choice if your subscription supports it. I can't use it due to being on the free tier, but if you're on ultimate or priority, it's a great boost. If not, 60 FPS still gives a very smooth experience. If you're getting over 100 Mbps, you're in the perfect range for maxing out at 1080p 240fps, but only if you're on the ultimate plan and have a high refresh rate monitor. A higher bitrate improves detail and makes fast games like Fortnite, Apex and Valorant feel even smoother. For the advanced settings, V-Sync, this comes down to your personal setup. I leave it off by default, but if you're on a 120Hz or 144Hz screen, V-Sync might actually help keep frames consistent. Test both options and stick with what feels smoother for you. Nvidia Reflex, always keep this turned on. It minimizes input lag and helps with responsiveness, especially in shooter games. HDR. Best to leave this turned off. It won't improve your performance and can sometimes cause sudden brightness shifts or strange resolution behavior. Resolution upscaling. Set this to standard. The enhanced option doesn't make a big visual difference but can slightly slow things down due to extra processing. Also, save your graphic settings directly inside each game title. This way, you won't need to adjust them every time you start a new session. It saves effort and gives you a consistent setup across the board. Lastly, for your FPS target, crank it up as far as your plan and monitor allow. The 240 FPS cap is only usable with 1080p under the ultimate tier, so I can't use it myself. But if you're on ultimate, make sure to max it out. I personally prefer to cap it at 230, 240 FPS to keep things smooth. If you feel things aren't stable, try lowering it or locking the bitrate around 30 Mbps for better overall consistency. These are the most effective tweaks in GeForce Now for those looking to remove lag and push up to 240 FPS. Even though I'm on the free plan, I've included the complete settings guide so anyone using the ultimate version can take full advantage of what GeForce Now has to offer. If you're chasing ultra low input delay in Fortnite, head over to my official website and download the Fortnite Input Delay Fix Pack. The link is available right in the description. This pack includes two essential tools, ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, and Filter Keys Tweaker. Both are designed to help you get the most responsive performance possible out of your system. We'll begin with ISLC. After launching the tool, you'll need to configure a few key settings for better memory handling. In the first box, type 124. This sets the minimum memory limit. In the next box, input half your total RAM in MB. For example, if your system has 16 GB, enter 8192 MB. This ensures your memory stays optimized while gaming. Then, move to the wanted time resolution area. Clear whatever number is there and change it to 0.50. Now check the box labeled 
Enable custom time resolution. This is crucial for lowering system latency. After that, locate the polling rate setting. If you're using a mid or high-end PC, set it to 500 mms. On lower-end hardware, a 1000 mms setting tends to be more stable and reliable. Next, check every available checkbox in the ISLC interface. Click Purge Standby List and then hit Start. Don't close the application, just minimise it and let it run in the background. It will continue clearing unused memory automatically, which helps maintain lower latency during Fortnite sessions. Now, to boost your keyboard responsiveness, open the Filter Key Setter tool. Right click on it and select Run as Administrator. Once it opens, enable the boxes for Available, Confirm Activation and Show Status. These options make sure the settings are active and running in the background at all times. Now, change the response settings for faster input. Set Ignore Under to 0ms, Repeat Delay to 200mm and Repeat Rate to 25mm. These adjustments allow your keyboard to register input much faster, up to 40 presses per second, which is ideal for quick building and editing in Fortnite. When you're done, enable the Save to Registry option and click OK to keep these settings locked in permanently. With both ISLC and filter keys correctly configured, you'll feel a noticeable boost in input response and system smoothness, especially when these are combined with the GeForce Now optimizations we talked about earlier. Whether you're sticking to the free plan or planning to upgrade later, these changes will help you get the smoothest Fortnite gameplay possible. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now hit the Windows key and type Keyboard into the search bar. From the results, click on Keyboard Properties or the option that says Change Keyboard, Repeat Delay and Rate. In the window that opens, you'll notice two sliders, Repeat Delay and Repeat Rate. These settings fine-tune how your keyboard behaves when you press and hold down a key. Repeat Delay controls the time it takes before a key starts repeating itself when held. Repeat rate determines how quickly that repeated action occurs once the delay is over. For lightning fast response in Fortnite, drag the repeat delay slider all the way to short and the repeat rate slider to fast. This setup helps your keyboard register and repeat actions almost immediately. Perfect for rapid building, editing or quick movements. Once done, hit apply, then click OK to save the changes. It might seem like a small adjustment, but this tweak noticeably improves input responsiveness giving you quicker reactions and more control, especially useful in intense Fortnite battles where every millisecond counts. Now guys, open the registry editor by typing rigidit into the Windows search bar. Right click the registry editor result and select run as administrator to ensure you have the necessary permissions. When the window opens, use the address bar at the top to paste in the registry path mentioned in the video description and hit enter. This will take you straight to the exact folder you need. Inside this location, look for a value named Keyboard Data Queue Size. Double click to open its settings. The default value is usually set to 100, which tells Windows to store up to 100 keystrokes in the queue before processing them. This default behavior can introduce lag, especially in games where rapid inputs, like building or double edits, must be recognized instantly. To lower input delay, reduce the value. A good starting point is 65, which shrinks the input buffer and speeds up key response. 
If that doesn't feel quite right, experiment by gradually lowering the value. Try 95, 90, 85 and so on, until you find the sweet spot that boosts responsiveness without missing keystrokes. Important, make sure the value is set to hexadecimal before pressing OK to confirm the changes. Once applied, you'll likely notice that your key inputs in Fortnite feel more immediate with quicker build placement, tighter edits, and more fluid gameplay overall. It's a simple registry change, but one that can give you a serious edge when every second counts. That's it. If this helped, drop a like, subscribe, and let me know how it works for you in the comments. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next one.